The object browser utility is our next discussion. And it allows you to investigate the, the referenced assemblies. Your, our application uh, references some of the assemblies. So we cannot do the, do the investigation of these referenced assemblies to see what uh, type definition they have inside them and what programming constructs those def uh, type definition contain inside them. So to investigate these uh, referenced assemblies, we, we make use of uh, object browser utility. And how do you access it? You basically follow the same steps you did follow when you were investigating the Solution Explorer. And you go to the View menu and look for Object Browser. There is it, Object Browser. So now we have Object Browser on the left. Uh, depending maybe on your Visual Studio configuration, it may appear as somewhere else. But mine is here on the left. So these are the the referenced assemblies by my project. You can confirm that by going to the references folder here and look if these references do match these uh, uh, assemblies on the object browser. So how do you investigate these uh, assemblies? If you notice here, the referenced assemblies can be expanded to see what they have inside. We will expand the system.activities which is the assembly we referenced ourselves when we were showing you how to reference an assembly in, in C Sharp. So we'll open it to see what it has inside. So this assembly actually has a number of namespaces inside there, inside it. This is an assembly, this is a namespace, these are the namespaces inside that assembly. So a namespace, as we said, it's a container for uh, for a lot of types. So these namespaces can also be expanded to see what type definitions they have inside them. So let's do that with the Microsoft C Sharp. So these are the type definitions for the Microsoft C Sharp uh, namespace, C Sharp to activities namespace. So to see what these type definition have inside them, what programming constructs are there, what methods are there, what uh, properties, what events are defined by those type de definitions? You can expand them by clicking by by clicking the um, the arrow on the left of the name of the type. So it's going to show you the types inside that. So these it will show you this folder with the base types. You can expand it to see where is it inheriting from and what it, and the interfaces inside that. You can do this for all these assemblies, but let's come to this uh, activity, this assembly dot activity. So this one defines all these uh, types. There are these classes inside the system dot, uh, the system dot activities uh, namespace. So you can click on the, on the type definition if you look on the right here, we have got a list of programming constructs defined by that type, inside that type. Or you can view them by uh, expanding it and then see the base types of this. You see? This is the base type for this activity, meaning this class just inherit from the object one. But let's put that away for now and select the activity class to see the list of uh, methods defined there. There's activity method, which doesn't take any parameters. There's catch metadata, which takes as its parameter and activity metadata object. There's a met, there's a there's a, an event on create dynamic update map. This is not an, an event actually. This is a method. This is an extension method. So we'll uh, go through what an extension method is as we uh, write our code. There's an extension methods on create dynamic update map which takes two arguments as its uh, argument or parameters the update map metadata object and the activity object. We have the toString method, we have the catch, the 
system strength, displays name, ID, implementation, and implementation version. So these are the, uh, the properties of that uh, class. And these are the methods defined inside that class. So you can select each item there to see the summary or the definition of that selected item. So depending on what you are selecting, the, the, the structure of your of this definition may be different. For example, when you select this one, you don't have the parameter uh, part of the definition here because the method doesn't contain any parameters. But if we select this one, as it does have the parameters, it shows you, it gives you the description of the parameters, which is metadata, the activities metadata that encapsulate the activities, arguments, variables, child activities, and activity delegates. So you can go through the methods of the type definition defined inside the namespaces of, of the assembly which is referenced by your, by your application. So we'll see when you write the code, especially as your project 